Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World, and today we're going to have some fun with the AI in Armor 3. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a very basic helicopter assault using only the AI. Now, if you've ever tried to use the AI in Armor 3 before, you'd know that nothing is easy, and they do require a lot of micromanagement. But you're also going to find from this video that anything's possible as long as you take your time and you really think about what you're going to do. But most importantly, you've got to do things in the right order. Now, before we get started, I should point out that this particular mission that I'm playing in right now is DUWS Modified. It's been modified for RHS Escalation, which, if you've never used that before, is the reason why we're looking at American helicopters. Well, I should say present-day American helicopters instead of the standard helicopters in armor. Basically, RHS uh, pretty much adds in American and Russian gear into the game, and it's really, really cool. If you haven't tried it out before, just type it into Google, and you'll see what I mean. Now, the other big change from standard vanilla armor is that I'm playing on Takistan, which, as you can see, is not Altus or Stratus, and uh, it's been added to the game by the CUP mod packs, which stands for Community Upgrade Project. It's basically a project that's adding in everything from Armor 2 and previous games. Um, so, yeah, um, the very last mod that I need to tell you about is probably the most important for this particular video. It's called the WWAI mod, and you'll see on the left, it basically adds in another command menu for your AI, and it lets you do things that you can't normally do, like turn your engine of your helicopter on and off, as well as, you know, things like landing it, which is a really important thing if you're going to do a air, any sort of airborne assault. Um, but yeah, that just about wraps up the mods, so check them all out. I'm going to put them all in the description below if you haven't already used them, and uh, I would highly recommend them if uh, you are playing any sort of Armour 3. They're very, very cool. Um, now, let's quickly take a look at my teams. We'll go over here first. We've got a Humvee. We're going to be using this guy for uh, fire support on the mission. And you might be wondering, what the hell does that have to do with an airborne assault? Well, you'll see in just a tick. Um, now, over here, we have an Apache. This is the blue team right here. Uh, basically, as you can see, two helicopter pilots in there. They've got the... Uh, you know, proper actual OCP US camouflage on, which is pretty cool. That's all added from RHS. Now, over here, we have our Black Hawk. Um, basically, you know, pilot, two crew members there on the uh, Dylan miniguns. And I'll just get my rifle team out of the helicopter and get them to disembark. And we've got everything we pretty much need. There's a marksman. Over here we have an auto rifleman, combat medic, uh, an AT specialist, and this dude's got like another launcher. And then I should have mentioned as well, over in the uh, Humvee over there is I think the team leader and a combat engineer. So we pretty much have everybody we need um, for this particular raid. Oh crap, we're getting attacked. This is a dynamic mission, so you have to be prepared to be attacked. What the hell? <laughs> so my Humvee just got destroyed. <laughs> we might need to create another Humvee. <laughs> okay. That's the problem with dynamic missions. You won't have this problem if you're trying to do this on any other mission. Uh, so over here we have the Pawnee. This is like a little scout heli. Um, it's going to be really cool for cleaning up infantry. But uh, considering we just lost our Humvee, I might actually just go back inside and order another one. And what did we lose? We lost uh, an engineer and a team leader. Okay. This dude's taking cover. So we want 50 cal Humvee. And we want combat engineer and team leader. So 7-8. They're going to be Team Green. And I'll get these guys to get back in this Humvee. Actually, I need to get them in the specific seats. This guy has to be the driver. And 8 has to be the drum. Um, not the drummer. I was going to say drummer. Has to be the gunner. Whoops. Have I got the wrong one? Okay. Four. Gunner. Okay. Alright, so now that we've sorted that threat out, 
we'll get this team back in the helicopter and we'll start our raid. There's no threats up on that. Oh, there's one dude left. An AT soldier. That could be a bit problematic. I might be able to take this dude out before we go. About 500 meters or so. Yep. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Okay, cool. All right. Now, this is where you can start to make mistakes if you're on a helicopter assault. So it's very, very important that the first thing you do is you set all of your team members to hold fire. You don't want them to open fire until we actually get to the objective or else they might basically break off and do their own thing. Um, secondly, um, I would probably highly recommend that you pilot the Black Hawk because that's probably the most essential part of this whole mission. Uh, and you're probably wondering why someone is sitting in the pilot seat. That's because we want to actually get in the co-pilot seat. It's very, very important. Uh, and hang on. All right. So that's looks like our dudes over there. So yeah, you want to get in the co-pilot seat and that's because you can actually fly the Black Hawk from the co-pilot seat um, and that'll actually allow the AI pilot to take over when we get out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take control of the helicopter. We're going to make sure all of our team members are stopped. It's very important that they're stopped because they will try and take off. So everyone is stopped by the looks of it. Let's just check this. Yeah, he's, he's stopped. He's all right. He may take off, but he won't follow us. Okay, so we'll take off. Now, getting back to the Humvee, which I said you guys might be confused about before. We'll go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to sling load this guy. I'm going to carry him over with the team in it. So, auto hover. Now, sling load for anyone who hasn't used it before. I'm pretty sure from memory you have to have the helicopter DLC. So, don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure. And you press Control B. And as you can see on the right hand side, there's the sling load assistant. Then you press B to hook. And uh, that little bar will fill up. And then as you can see, we have a Humvee attached. So now we can just uh, put a bit of power into it. Now at this point, when you're airborne, like I said, normally you wouldn't want your helicopters to take off before you do. But this guy's decided he wants to just hover there. That's fine. Um, it's very important that you don't make them regroup. Because as soon as they start regrouping, they can actually fly into you. So now I'm just going to get everyone on the team to regroup, except, and this is important, I don't want the Humvee to regroup yet because I want it to stay stationary when we hit the ground. Now, as you can see, the Pawnee is starting to take off now that I've clicked regroup. And as you can see, the Apache is starting to sort of fly around. That's why you don't want it to take off first. Now, a good idea as well is you get your Apache and your Pawnee to fly in staggered column formation. I don't know why, that just seems to work best. So we'll get our point E to fly in staggered column as well. And I think we're good to go. So now the only question is which objective are we attacking? I think we'll go over and attack this barracks. All right, so it's as simple as fly over there. And we wanna try and scout the area out first. We don't sort of wanna go in too close with the Black Hawk, we wanna sort of Recon a little bit, let the attack helis take out targets of opportunity and we'll find a good LZ, set it down and go in for the kill. Now most of the time when you do this, you'll find that the attack helis will take out pretty much all the vehicles. They may also take out a lot of the infantry and you pretty much as the rifle team just have to go in and just mop up the stragglers. So if you do it right, we shouldn't lose any helicopters, and also we shouldn't probably lose any one in the rifle team either. <laughs> Those guys are flying really close to each other. I'm hoping they're not going to hit each other before we get there. 
I'm just trying to fly really slow. All right, so now we're about a, a kilometer away from the obje objective. So I'm going to actually get all my teams to open fire at this point. And you'll see, you can sort of see already the Pawnee started to break off. The Apache's breaking off now. It's just fired, fired a missile at something. I'm getting a bit too close to the objective, so we might sort of go over here. Now, I, I'm going to set it down, I think, behind this sort of, like, copse of trees there. Now, I should have mentioned as well, another perk of being in the co-pilot seat, at least with this particular model of Black Hawk, is your um, pilot will actually um, deploy flares if you uh, get shot at with a missile. So Now, we're just going to go down here and drop this Humvee and then find another place to actually land. All right. So you drop the Humvee just by pressing B. Whoop. Not yet. Go down a little bit lower. All right, B. And he's good to go. I'll just let him stay there. This is why I didn't actually make him re regroup yet. And we're going to go over and find a nice flat spot. If you don't find a flat spot, um, there's a good chance you're going to lose your helicopter because the AI basically will just try and take off anyway and it'll probably get destroyed. So as you can see, the, the attack helis are sort of doing their own thing. This isn't really the flattest ground, but it's good enough. I don't think the AI are going to mess this up. All right, so now I'm just going to get my rifle team to get out. They won't actually get out until I release the controls. And this is a really important part of the mission as well. Before you release the controls, you need to turn the engine off. If you don't do that, the AI pilot will immediately try and take off. And when you actually hit the get out button, you'll be probably getting out from about 20 foot in the air. So. All right, so as you can see, engine off, release controls, get out, and now the rifle team's getting out. Ready. Ready. Pretty much destroying everyone over there. Okay, cool. So now the rifle team's out. Um, yeah, this guy's already spinning back up because he's set to regroup, and he'll take off and just act as a gunship. And this is what I was talking about. You sort of don't want to uh, let the AI take off on a slope. That was a, an okay slope, but... Okay, cool. So I'll regroup with uh, everybody. We'll get the Humvee to maybe come over and sort of attack from the road. So we sort of want the Humvee to go about there. So Humvee, open fire. And go over about here. And we'll just assault as well. Now, I don't know if I can see anybody yet. I don't think there's anyone on this side. The Humvee is moving. So everything is going sm smoothly right at this point. So hang on, I'm just going to get my team to get up. Because they're starting to take cover and I want them to stay up with me. I'm probably just going to sort of take cover behind this hill. I think the enemy AI at the moment is on trained, which is um, about what you'd normally set it on for missions. So they're not going to be aimbot, but they are going to be pretty accurate. Okay, still can't see anybody. All right, let's have a look. There's a dude that was apparently over here. As you can sort of see, the majority of the enemy force is gone. We're just sort of mopping up the stragglers right now. Not quite. I'm just gonna get my rifle team to form line. As you can see, there's sort of some smoke over there on the... Um, the hill. That's uh, a vehicle that the Apache's taken out. Still can't see anyone. We pretty much have to move in and just pretty much take out anyone that's still alive. Anyone that's hiding behind a building or that sort of thing. Might just get the Humvee to move up a little bit closer. Just get them to move maybe about there. Could be that the helis have taken out everybody. Sometimes that happens, and you can pretty much take an objective without firing a shot. 
That's the beauty of combined arms operations. Usually when the helis are just like hovering around like that, it's a good sign that all the enemies are dead. Now, did we lose any helis? I can't see the Apache. I can't see the Apache. Anyway. I think everybody is pretty much dead. But that being said, if we... Oh, there we go. We captured the zone. So as you can see, we pretty much captured that objective without actually firing a shot. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get the Black Hawk to land. There's the Apache there. So I'll just get everyone to hold position. Uh, let's get all the helis to hold individually. And they should sort of stay hovering there. Alright, so this is where that other menu comes in handy. I'm going to get the Black Hawk to actually land um, using that menu. It's very important, once again, that you really pinpoint a good LZ. You don't want to just, like, pick it randomly on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in and mark it. And then get out of the way. And then get him to land on that marker. If you don't do it like that, then there's a good chance that you are going to lose your helicopter. Okay, all of my guys are out of the way. Let's select Team White. P, 3, 4 for land. And he'll land on that LZ. Now it is worth noting as well that helis generally won't land if um, they're taking fire. So usually you want to clear an objective before you try and actually make anyone land. It looks good. I think we killed everyone. So we might actually have enough time to go up and take another objective, I think. We're just going to repeat the same process again. Once again, get in the co-pilot seat. Really important. And just take those controls straight away. Rifle team, back in. I'm going to go sling load the um, Humvee again. Now, apparently there's enemies near the main base, but maybe we might just sort of go over and take this outpost. Get in the vehicle. <laughs> Team Red doesn't want to get in. I'm not sure. Oh, it's because I had the controls. Um, so yeah, the AI does really weird things. Like I said, you have to do things in the right order. If you don't, um, you can sort of screw things up. So that that's sort of like a minor mistake there, but little mistakes like that can actually, you know, cost you a um, helicopter or two. So I have control at this point. I'm just gonna go over and sling load. Takes a while to spin up on the RHS helicopters. Auto hover. sort of get into position. Actually, if you press control B, you can sort of see where the target is. You can sort of see that little green marker. And you've got to be low enough as well. There we go. Okay, so we're attached. We'll just lift off. Now, once again, same as before, just going to get everyone to hold fire. Really important. Okay, so I think we, we probably won't take that outpost. We might come up here and try and take the power, really. I think that looks like it's going to be a bigger objective, maybe with some more vehicles and stuff. Okay, cool. So we'll get everyone... Actually, I might sort of start flying first. One, Like I said before, it's always good to sort of get out of the way before you get everyone to regroup. <laughs> As you can see, the heli is very sluggish with a load on. All right, regroup. Except for the um, except for the Humvee, I'll get them to stop. Now another thing that you can do as well, if you don't actually want to have the helis escorting you, is you can just send them on ahead. 
but I usually find it's always good to sort of like try and attack together. That way you can control when they open fire. You can't always sort of see them. You have to sort of rely on the map. Oh, don't hit each other. <laughs> so I might actually send the the, uh, the Apache out ahead because he's getting very close there. And you'll see he'll break off and just head off. Don't hit the ground. <laughs> Sometimes you have to wonder with AI. They just sort of do their own thing. So we're going about 150 right now. Usually a helicopter like this is going to be doing about 200 k's an hour when it's up to speed. So the load really does make a big impact. All right, so... 1k away, everybody open fire. And everyone, Rieger, oh, what? No, the, I thought that got hit then, but it didn't. It's just engaging. All right, so this is kind of like a bit, bit of a, like a desolate wasteland. It's because we're on the edge of the map here. So I'm just trying to bring it down right now. Just bring my guns around so that it can attack. We don't want to be this far away. We sort of want to come in maybe on that little gully over there. It's just hard because the helicopter handles so badly with the load on. It's like trying to drive a freight train in the sky. Okay, oh yeah, crap. So it looks like the Apache got hit with something. And the Pawnee is still up. So that also might mean we're going to face a little bit more resistance. I think all the vehicles are dead. Actually, no, there is still a vehicle there. Whoop, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh no. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> okay, we're good. Alright, so we are taking fire from something, so there's definitely still a APC over there. So I'm just gonna get this um Humvee to just hold for a sec, because he will go and get shredded, I reckon, by that APC. Now, like I was saying, you don't want to land on a slope. So this is not really sort of good terrain. I might just be able to go in this little gully over here. Obviously, you're going to have a lot less choice of where to land on a map like Janaris or, um, or Altus. This map has like pretty much no like vegetation whatsoever. It's just like desert, desert, desert. Okay, this is sort of flat enough. It's flat enough that the AI won't kill themselves. So that's all we need. Oh, it's sort of flat. I think it should be okay though. All right, cool. So once again, engine off. Get the team to disembark and then release the controls when the blades have spun down. Then get out. Alright, all my dudes are out. And if he doesn't automatically take off again, you can always just get him to restart his blades using that WW menu. Alright, cool. Let's move out. So I'm not sure what to do with this Humvee just yet. I might just hold it back until we get rid of that BMP. It's still there for sure. And we've lost the um, 
Is that one of our di guys just died? No, that's a rock. So our only AT right now is, is me, basically, and the, the other two AT guys. So These guys are coming. I might just get them to sort of form a bit tighter formation. Okay. We'll get the Humvee to move up a little bit further. Not far, but just enough. So we're about 800 meters away from that um, BMP, which looks like it's on the south side of the objective. As you can see, it's just nailing dudes on the ground. Most of the infantry should be gone by the time we get there. It's a big track. I'm going to be really tired by the time I get to the top of this hill, so we might have to just take the BMP out and then rest for a bit. Hopefully that BMP is not going to take out the helis. Okay, so... Oh, okay, there's dudes a lot closer than I thought. Is that a guy there? Nah, it's a dead dude. Okay, that's a BMP right there. Oh, okay, he's destroyed. But the other one isn't. The problem we have here is we're going to have to take out the infantry probably first. Just get my gun out. One more time. There we go. He's dead. Oh crap, there's a dude there. Sort of distracted. Oh man, he's just tanking those 762s. He's dead. I think there's still dudes over on the objective. I'm gonna sort of take my time a bit. I just want to get rid of that um, BMP. Ah, it looks like the BMP's moved off. So that's probably a good sign. I think we're probably good to move up the the um the Humvee now. We'll just get him to come on the side of this hill. And I'll get uh, Team Red to form line. There's no dudes up on the hill with me, I don't think. Not quite. The heli helis are good at distracting the infantry, that's for sure. I think this 50 cal will finish this guy off. Yep, there you go. And that, oh, I think there's one more guy. Looks like there's one dude here just like chilling on his own. I can't put a waypoint on him. I don't know where he is though. Maybe behind that? Yeah, looks like it. I'm not sure if that's destroyed or not. I'm pretty sure it is destroyed, but I'm just gonna like blow it up just because I can. There we go. That dude was hiding behind it. Okay, so there you go. Captured two objectives. And that's pretty much the gist of airborne assaults. Um, we did lose a heli, but, you know, that's all part of it. I'm just going to quickly put a right waypoint down over here. Where is that marker? No, we want it sort of maybe about there. Maybe a little bit further out. Whoops. Try that. Oh, it's sort of not a good spot, is it? I want to find somewhere to land the heli. Might just have to go down there. And then we'll get in the heli and RTB. 
just a little bit further out. Like, there. Oh, it's sort of a bad spot to land early, though, isn't it? Oh, what? I think that was just a Blackhawk got killed. I'm not sure how. <laughs> I guess we're not going home, boys. <laughs> so I think at this point, I'll probably end the video there. But uh, yeah, basically, that's how you do an airborne assault. It's as simple as that. Assuming the AI doesn't crash the helicopter somehow. I'm not sure what that got hit by. Maybe there's um, something else, but anyway, that's how it's done. But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.